सहज मार्ग ए डायनामिक पाथ मैसेज एट बैंगलोर ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड डिसंबर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फोर अनचर मैंस परसिस्टेंट एफर्ट हैज बीन टू अनवेल द मिस्टरी ऑफ नेचर एंड इट हैज वाइड एंड द फ्रॉन्टर्स of knowledge his probe into everything that he sees in nature continues when thinking itself takes further evolution it leads us to what is beyond everything ultimate cause of the world our ancients peeped in and went direct to find the ultimate cause of the world the relation between man and god the static and dynamic values of things representing nature they went beyond everything which has resulted in the discovery of some movements being the cause of all existence we find the center and its region giving us the knowledge of their existence power arcs positive and negative cells if we really peep in we find the constructive and destructive powers in the form of atoms and cells power arcs are also there positive and negative cells are there giving full description of their existence center and circumference as we proceed on what is there above and below we see everything tending towards the center and the center itself yearning towards the circumference cooperation of highest power after our adventure we are initiated by the value of our existence and felt the cooperation of the highest power that is around us now this was the main current of our thinking which has diverted our attention to the main theme gradually we could know the function of the movements in the human body the way is made open to lead up to the central region man is an epitome of the universe when we visualized ourselves we found that man is epitome of the universe this added to our advancement and we have began to study 
our own centers, their motions and work. And the functions of the human mind and body. Sacred Pledge of Our Ancients The power we have got in us can also be utilized for the destructive purpose. But owing to the sacred pledge of our ancients, we avoid it altogether and we utilize the power for the transformation of man. Thick layer of grossness has settled. When we peep into ourselves, we find the higher centers focusing into our centers. But due to our wrong thinking and actions, the effect is not coming in at all. The thick layer of grossness has settled so firmly over the centers as to make them quite impervious. Research is necessary. There are so many centers in the human body whose working is both spiritual and worldly. Research is necessary to know all these things for the common good of mankind. Limited pace of materialism Spirituality is attacked by many of us, giving examples of the present-day civilization and of those who have gone with the unlimited pace of materialism, making themselves limited because they attempt only the finite and afterwards they fall off. Sahaj Mark makes it possible. The centers in us has lost the capacity of grasping the infinite. The Sahaj Mark system stands for it and makes it possible for us to do our duty the way finiteness demands and to proceed alongside towards the infinite. Babuji says that he will be very grateful to readers if they ponder a little We should correct both the things. We should fly with both the wings. If we attempt for the finite alone, we proceed with an unsound base. We should attempt the finite for the infinite. For this, dynamic methods should be adapted. And what can those methods be? Only those which introduce from the very beginning the character of the infinite. Grace is diverted to the Abhyasi. 
Sahaj Marg recommends the method for the cleaning of the centers and the master himself does it through the process of transmission. As long as the Abhyasi is not getting the grace direct, the teacher diverts the grace which is coming directly upon himself to the Abhyasi. Phases observed with correct method and perfect guide. First phase. Abhyasi begins to feel expansion. Second phase feels presence of God in every animate object. Third phase feels everything as from God and his manifestation. Fourth phase brings in a state of negation. The work of teacher goes on and on. If the teacher is not perfect, there can be the danger of getting absorbed in the powers which are not concerned with spirituality. The work of teacher goes on and on to the final limit. Faith in the Master and confidence in Himself. The Abhyasi's part is to be perfectly obedient to the Master. I mean to say that he should comply with the directions given to him, having faith or at least trust in the Master and confidence in himself. We have to search for such a good master who has his approach to the final limit. Realization not at all difficult for those having a real craving for it. In the end, I would emphasize that realization is not at all difficult for those who have the real craving for it. If craving is there, he will come on to the true path by which realization can be achieved in a short time. Caught up by so many enjoyments, so many of us worship God and offer prayer as a routine. It is only to please our senses. In this peer, mental enjoyment is there, sense enjoyment is there, and they are caught up by so many enjoyments which forbid them from peeping further into the life meant for realization. <laughs>